Hello, I'm George Schatz, and I'm the editor-in-chief of the Journal of Physical Chemistry. I'm also the author of a paper that was recently published in Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters, co-authored with uh, Liang An Su and Wen Du Ding, uh, and the purpose of this perspective video is to tell you about the paper. Okay, so this is concerned with something called plasma coupled resonance energy transfer. This is concerned with the energy transfer between two molecules or between two other chromophores such as quantum dots that can take place in the presence of silver and gold uh, nanoparticles or other types of nanostructures. There are many papers that have been published recently, experimental papers that have been concerned with uh, measurements where this process with resonance energy transfer uh, is playing an important role in the results and yet we found that there weren't practical theoretical tools or for that matter uh, qualitative theories that one could use to interpret the results or model the experiments. So this paper has to do with a new theory that we've developed that allows us to do exactly that okay and in fact involves uh, doing computational electronics calculations that anyone can run uh, and use to model these experiments. The paper uh, it, it involves uh, modeling a plasmon coupled resonance energy transfer where plasmonic effects, so uh, collective excitations of electrons and silver and gold particles, uh, uh, leads to greatly enhanced energy transfer uh, such that uh, the molecules can be separated by tens of nanometers and observable effects are still possible. So Wendu and Liang will now describe the paper. We hope this is a useful contribution. Hi, I'm Liang Yan Shu. Hello, I am Wendu Ding. We are the authors of Plasma Couple Resonance Energy Transfer. Today, we are very pleased to present our work for the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters. In this video, we would like to give an overview of our study, including the background, our new theory, and its application especially in plasma enhanced energy transfer. Let's start from the backgrounds. First, the theory. RET is energy transfer from an excited molecule named a donor to a relaxed molecule named an acceptor. This process has been studied for many years and utilized in many fields. One of the most famous methods to determine RET rate is called Foster theory. The two key concepts from Foster theory are the distance dependence and spectral overlap. The former is the r to the minus 6 term, stating that the RET rate is inversely dependent on the sixth power of the distance between the donor and the acceptor. The spectral overlap is the shaded area in this diagram. The overlap between the donor emission spectra and the acceptor absorption spectrum. The larger the overlap, the higher the transfer rate. With the appropriate experimental data, one can easily calculate the RET rate between two molecules. This formula can only be applied to homogeneous, non-dispersive, and non-absorbing media. It seems that the Foster theory is a very simple and powerful method, but is there any limitation? Yes, it's true. Foster theory has some limitations. Foster theory cannot be applied to resonance energy transfer between two molecules within inhomogeneous media or around the metallic structures. To address these issues, we have developed a new theory based on quantum electrodynamics. The new method is derived from quantum electrodynamics including dielectrics. Here, the homogeneous medium is no longer required. The system can contain any material with any types of dielectric function. In addition, the donor acceptor interaction does not need to be electrostatic, meaning that the new method can be applied to long range cases. Furthermore, we introduce a new concept generalized spectral overlap, or GSO, which is the integral part of the equation, represented by the shaded area in this figure. The GSO describes the interaction between the donor and the acceptor. It contains the original spectral overlap between the donor emission and the acceptor absorption in an arbitrary homogeneous solvent. In addition, it includes an extra term, the coupling factor, which essentially is 
the interaction between the transition dipole of the acceptor and the electro field generated by the donor at the position of the acceptor. The coupling factor also takes care of the orientation and distance dependence in Foster theory. Let's use an example to illustrate the effect of plasmonic nanoparticle. Suppose there is a pair of donor acceptor molecules located on the opposite sides of a solid silver nanosphere with a 120 nanometer diameter. We assume that the transition dipoles of both molecules are oriented perpendicular to the surface, since the biggest difference between Foster theory and our new theory is the inclusion of coupling factor, we will focus on the physical insight from this term. We can see that for the majority of the frequency range in interest, silver nanoparticle has an enhancement effect on the coupling factor as large as 1000 times compared to the case without the nanoparticle. We also note that a small region of suppression is observed in the presence of the silver particle. In other words, as long as the suppression region is avoided, the total rate of RET will be enhanced due to the nanosphere. This example shows that our new method can fully capture the effect, enhancement or suppression of a plasmonic structure on the resonance energy transfer between two molecules. We hope you enjoy this video. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at Northwestern University. Thank you.